The DA's recall raises lots of questions for people who live or work in the city. One of the biggest being, what does this all mean for, for San Francisco moving forward? Will it actually make the city safer? Here's what NBC Bay Area's Ginger Kanehara Saab found out. Reactions to Chase Aboudin's recall have poured in nationwide, with even the White House weighing in. The same is happening here at home from different communities across the city, both sides feeling very differently about the results. Both sides also still hoping for the same thing, change for the city. Videos like this have become an all too common sight in San Francisco's Chinatown. Business owners say the city hasn't been holding looters and other criminals accountable. But today, they hope, is the start of something different. We're more hopeful than we've ever been before that maybe there will be a change in the city. Betty Louie and other community leaders acknowledge crime and safety were a serious problem long before Chase Aboudin took office. But it's clear to them he could have done more. He probably isn't the reason for everything, but I also I also believe that some of his actions um, spoke uh, very loudly. The Police Officers Association has been vocal about their disconnect with the DA's office. And what you saw happen yesterday was someone being held accountable. Police union leaders say they want to see dangerous or repetitive criminals locked up, but acknowledge reform in the criminal justice system needs to continue. And that's what our reputation needs to be, is that come to San Francisco, have a great time. But what we won't tolerate is people taking advantage of other people. The ACLU Northern California chapter led the opposition to Boudin's recall efforts. ACLU is obviously disappointed in the outcome of this recall. But remain committed to continuing what Boudin set out to do. It would be a mistake to read too much into this election outcome. The recall vote was not a repudiation of criminal justice reform. It was not a referendum on the National Progressive Prosecutor Movement, which really is continuing to gain momentum. For his part, Boudin told supporters last night they all have to keep working for that reform. It was not the work of one year or one term. It's certainly not the work of one man or woman or one office. It is work that requires a sustained social movement. In San Francisco, Ginger Conahero Saab, NBC Bay Area News.